Hi everybody, this is Susie. Well, I'm back second time around. I made a video live earlier, but it didn't seem like it went through okay with comments and all. So for those of you who already saw it, I'm sorry. For whoever didn't see it yet, hi everyone. <laughs> well, um, I'm trying to get back on track. I had a lot going on in my life, like I was explaining in my other video which put a halt on everything from making my flowers to making all of my other crafts that I like to do. So um, I started off, I want to thank everybody. I want to thank the people who have written me privately on Instagram and on uh, Messenger through Facebook um, about, you know, that you should get back on track with your crafts and, and I should try to do those again, especially my hearts, which... This is the one that I made this morning. Very pretty. It's a muslin base. I hand sewn it because my uh, my sewing machine is away. Uh, it's put away and I wasn't going to take it out just for this. So I, I hand sewn the muslin, stuffed it with um, the um, fiber fill. And then I used some very pretty lace that I had, uh, which was like a, a roll of lace. So I used one strip of it and some stray pearls all around. I then made out of um, an off-white ivory colored taffeta uh, those uh, rolled roses that you see there. They came out really pretty considering I haven't made them in a while. I guess you don't lose your touch. And then um, a couple of um, mulberry paper flowers there and on the bottom as well made mulberry paper flowers. Um, with some little tiny roses there and I also use this I love this stuff it's I don't know if any of you have ever um, seen my pictures that I a lot of things that I do with my flowers and wrapping bouquets I use this um, really pretty pearl that's on like a, a fishing wire almost um, very pretty so from far away it almost looks like it's not there kind of thing and then I use this um, very fine quality uh, strand of rhinestone I'm trying to get in there. Um, you have to be careful where you get them from. I mean, I've gotten rhinestone in the past that, uh, this is my rhinestone spool. Um, but some of them, if they're not a good grade, they turn black after a while. Anyway, um, I also put some of this uh, pearlized uh, netting tool um, in between each flower just to just give it a little bit of a an accent there ever so pretty and um, I love the way it came out at the very top here I have a piece of marabou bow or fur I kind of really like um, working with that and so there's the heart laying flat it's probably bigger than my hand I didn't put any ruffles on the outside or lace going around the outside. It does tend to make the heart look larger um, when I do that. And I've done that in many of my hearts over the years. I've been making heart sachets and, and heart pillows and bridal hearts and Valentine's hearts and holiday hearts and all kinds of hearts uh, for probably the last 15 to 18 years. So I've made a lot of hearts over time. Um, and a lot of times I do put the, the lace going around it ruffled, but this time I chose not to. I also put the bow at the bottom with hanging streamers of ribbon and pearls, but I was kind of trying to lean away from doing that. I wanted to do something a little different, but my signature style is really the way that you see it, kind of like cascading the, the flowers down this way. Oops. <laughs> Nothing like having stuff fall all over while you're, you're uh, making a video. Anyway, um, what I also had done was, I don't know if anyone's seen the flower studio on Instagram. That would be me. So um, I've been uh, using the name the flower studio um on Instagram because I've been doing a lot of flowers over the past uh, year or two and I decided to um, have a page that was dedicated to my flowers which also wound up incorporating all my other crafts like my heart flat my hearts and flowers and my my flowers inside the um, the uh, ornaments 
which I had taken a break for the past few months, so I really wasn't making any ornaments. But here are some of the flowers that a lot of times these flowers here are for props. Like when I make videos like this, like these few here. Uh, but the ones in the back are, are pretty new. This one is recent. Um, it's, it's a very large flower. It's on a stem with leaves. Very pretty. But I chose to put that um, in today's video. Sorry about that. Uh, as part of like a Valentine's almost theme. Um, originally I had a very dark burgundy background. But I think it was too dark. And you really couldn't see much. So I changed it to the gold taffeta and that's it folks there you have it another heart i have some new ideas that i have in my mind coming up for valentine's day i can't wait to share them with you and i hope that you can stick around and see my channel and um, watch the new videos coming hopefully more than i have been doing in the past um, also asking you if you can like share and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber um, of my channel I think it's something like 12 or 13 years I've been on YouTube. Um, so I'm trying to establish my channel, reestablish it again, because it's been kind of, you know, in a lull, not really doing much. Life jumps in and takes a hold of everything, and then you're on hold. So anyway, I'm so glad to make this video. I miss all of you. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my videos and sending me messages to see how I'm doing. Um... I'm okay. Uh, just again, like I said, life gets in the way. So, and it kind of stops you from doing the things that you love the most, which is this. And all of you know that um, I used to do a lot of Marie Antoinette crafts uh, way back in, in time. <laughs> and I would really like to try and do some of that again as well. So, thank you so much for watching. Have a great weekend. I love you all. Thank you. Bye.